The mining city receives the first piece of a memorial remembering the victims of a explosion in Butte more than 120 years ago. MTN's John Amy gives us a first look. The explosion at a warehouse in Butte 124 years ago was literally heard across the state. The Kenyon Connell Warehouse disaster took the lives of 57 citizens and 13 firefighters, wiping out almost all of the department. This week, the first statue of a memorial commemorating the tragedy was delivered to the Butte Fire Department. It's fitting, it's, it's the right thing to do to, to recognize these people. Belgrade artist Jim Dolan delivered the first piece of the statue, which represents one of the department's horses that survived the blast. The metal sculpture shows the devastation of the explosion. I want to make him look like he's still in shock because his, the fire chief got blown apart in front of him. And I try to make it look like, like he has some ash on him and like he's just still like he's in shock from what just happened. The 1895 blast occurred at a warehouse illegally stocked with tons of explosives. Students from the Butte History Club have been pushing for this memorial for years after learning about the tragedy. Firefighters are people, like great people too, and they're heroes of Butte. And we should like learn to love our heroes. The Kenyon Connell Warehouse explosion was a disaster of unimaginable proportions. The blast was heard in Willow Creek and the flash was seen as far as Belgrade. It's been 125 years and they finally marked this um, this event, you know, 59 people got killed. And so I think that's what we, we want to do, realize this is part of Butte's history. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. All right, thank you for that, John. And let's check in with Curtis now. Curtis